Hey, what's up everybody? I wanted to show you guys how you can use a Xbox 360 controller that is a third-party controller with Mach 3. For this demonstration, I'm using an Afterglow controller, but any third-party non-Microsoft official controller will be the same process. What we need to do to make this work is first off, configure our Mach 3 360 controller drivers, configure our Microsoft Xbox drivers, which you should have already done up to this point. And then we need to find the product ID and vendor ID for this controller because it is not the same as the default Microsoft one and that is why it is not working. It is fairly easy to find this. It's just you need to do a bit of digging around and to apply it successfully is a bit of a trick. So first off, I'm gonna plug my controller into my system. The system that is running the Mach 3. And we want to test that our controller is plugged in by clicking the Xbox button. And then you will see the little logo appear. Once that is done, I will show you what a default configuration looks like. By default, your vendor ID and your product ID are both listed as 0x000. What you want to do is change these values. Now to find the value for your third party controller, what you have to do, this is on Windows XP, but it should be the same for Windows 7 too. Come to your device manager and at the bottom there should be Xbox 360 peripherals. Open that up. Go to Properties. You can see it calls it Afterglow Gamepad. Go to Details, and it should open up right to this device instance ID. It says USB VID underscore 0E6F, and then PID underscore 0213. All we need is the E6F and the 213. The zeros are not needed. None of the other information is needed. Come into Mach 3, go back to your config, and enter those values into the respective boxes. That is how you enter it. However, it does not always apply. Sometimes you will find that if you go back into it, it just returns to these zeros, and therefore it does nothing. There's a little trick for this. I don't have to end it. Uh, there's a little trick for this. You have to come into your computer, go to wherever your Mach 3 folder is, go to Properties, and you'll notice that it's Read Only. Turn that off, and then apply changes to everything. I'm only going to do it for the folder for a reason I'll show later, and then OK. However, for me, I don't know what's up with my install of XP on this older Pentium 4, but I do not have any sort of security box to try to manually change the config permissions or anything, but I cannot make that work. It just does not work. Every time I turn that off, it just turns itself right back on and it never actually does anything. This should work for you though. Once you've done this, go back into Mach 3 and put those numbers again and that should work. However, if it does not, if it does not let you turn off read only, there is a bypass. This is a little bit of a trick here that if you haven't configured your Mach 3 already, you're gonna wanna make sure this is like the last thing that you do, otherwise it's gonna be a bit of a bitch. So come into your Mach 3 folder and find the XML file for your mill or your plasma or whatever you're using a lathe. I'm using Notepad++. You can use regular Notepad. It just won't be formatted as nice or if you have XML editor, whatever it is. Come into here and then edit, search, find, and then look for vendor. And I'm already there, but it will find that. And then you can see what your vendor ID. I hate it when it does that. It resets me. But it's right at the end of the document anyway, since that's the last thing I installed was the 360 driver. You can see the vendor ID and the product ID. I've already entered it, but you're going to want to do that. 
Now, if you notice, it was input with zeros. Mach 3 will recognize that those zeros aren't supposed to be there and it will clear them out. So what you want to do is, once you've entered those correctly, save the XML file with Mach 3 closed. I've already done it, so I haven't closed Mach 3. Come to Properties, make this file read-only. This has to be read-only. Mach 3 will not be able to make certain changes once you have done this to your config. You will need to come back and turn this off if you want to make changes to your config later on. If you've already configured everything in Mach 3, this is no issue, though. Uh, you just will have to redo this if you ever have any reason to reconfigure your system. With that in mind, I will restart Mach 3 for the changes to apply. Sometimes I have to click it twice. <laughs> I'm using a demo version just for demonstration purposes. And then if we go up to config and then config plugins, fixed, there you go. This is all that matters. As long as this shows up when you launch Mach 3, you're good to go. So I'll show you here, I have the B button mapped to reset. There you go. I can do it again to get into emergency mode and then clear that. Since I'm not plugged in to anything, I'm gonna use a G-code example file. I have my right stick configured to do the movement. So if I move this up, you can see my Y value goes up. Move it down, my Y value goes negative. And then same with the X left and right. All configured properly. There are many other configs you can do for your zero position and whatnot that are in that menu, but that will be up for you to decide how you want to configure it. You can see we're going all around here and it's working well. Works just like it should. You can see I also had my Z value mapped to the left stick. So yeah, there you go. Mach 3 with a third-party Xbox controller. Again, personally, if, if you're shopping now, try to get a real Microsoft one just because it is a lot of hassle to configure this and then you know for sure that you are do dealing with the real deal and you're going to get a lot higher quality parts having an official Microsoft product versus something like this, but this is what I had laying around. And so with this finagling, with this little trick, you can make it work. So as I said, for most people, you should be able to come into your... Mach 3 folder and just set it to be that default read only turned off. That should be the fix. If not, once again, your XML file. Make the edits and set the file to read only. And that will work. You notice my machine has a bad CMOS, this older Pentium 4. It thinks it's 2019 still. Nonetheless, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope it was of some use in getting your 360 controller to work with Mach 3. Uh, let me know if you have any problems with this. I'm only familiar with using Mach 3 on these older XP systems. I don't know about Windows 7 or Windows 10. Um, and there are so many third-party controller varieties out there that it may be different, but this should be good for you to set up in this manner. 
So I hope it was helpful and catch you guys later.